Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I hope you're having a great day. If you want specific trading ideas, please call me or Al Vickery on 781-380-8888. Now let's get back to basics. We have to look at deeds rather than words. The European group, whether Sarkozy, Merkel, Papandreou, Berlusconi, and I can't remember the name of the Spanish premier right now, have zero interest in solving this problem. One of the reasons for the decline of Western Europe has been 60 years of dithering. Why is it that so many brilliant Europeans have come to live, work, and prosper in the United States? It is because those old-time structures, that classism, that uh, if your dad wasn't a businessman, you can't be a businessman. That rigid class structure uh, controlled by a ruling elite uh, is such is dying. And as a consequence, the people who lead those countries are not the great leaders uh, of, of 100 years ago. They're small-minded people who are only parochial in their viewpoint. They cannot solve this economic problem. Uh, we believe this, and therefore our portfolios are profiting from this belief. And we, believe, we are able to make these profits because so many people are deluded by the public relations structured, uh, structures offered by the Euro Europeans and the Pollyanna-ish type belief that there's going to be uh, some real solution of these debt issues uh, even though the Eurozone is really split in two. There's a northern culture and there's a southern culture. Now, I have to tell you something, which I found completely shocking. And you know, I don't have a very good view of these people anyway. The most money an American can receive from Social Security is $28,000. And that's, you know, at, at age 97 or whatever, and, you know, and you've maxed out and all this kind of stuff. If you're a 52-year-old Greek, you can get $48,000 a year. Is it any wonder? So I'm going to go back to things that actually make sense and leave to the intellectuals and uh, the political analysts whatever is going on in Europe because we know gold is going to be substantially more valuable. We know that specialized high-yield investments that relate to communications and oil service uh, are going to be <clears throat> much more valuable. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, go back to looking at things that actually make some sense. As I said, we see we saw last week gold trading at 1725. It hit that number. We think gold's going to be 1800 by the end of the week. Uh, people also tend to forget that in most of the world, there is no stain of opprobrium in owning gold. So we expect gold to go up in value on external uh, demand as well as Western European and, and United States demand. Now, uh, we also are finding the field of high yield investing quite fertile. Uh, and we found a couple more uh, energy related things that uh, have in energy related instruments that have very nice returns. Total. The French energy company, the giant energy company, an ADR on the New York Stock Exchange, has a dividend of 6%. Uh, Chevron, which many of you know uh, we have always liked, has a, a yield of 3%. We also are looking at uh, the world economy, and we see the UK manufacturing is down to its lowest level in two years. This is consonant with what's been going on around the rest of the world. Uh, our last specific comment in this area has to do with uranium. Uh, you will doubtless notice that uh, Arriva, the French uranium uh, nuclear energy company, uh, has uh, discovered 12,300 tons of uranium in central Jordan. And of course, as we know, Jordan, like Saudi Arabia, is actively looking for alternatives to oil. Now, um, <clears throat> furthermore, and our last point here is that Arriva also received a license to build and operate a uranium, uranium, uranium enrichment plant in Idaho. Uh, this plant could provide enough enrich, enriched uranium to 
uh, power 104 plants here in the United States. So uh, we expect that uh, the uh, trading in the next few days, if you don't buy some puts in the OEX, you don't buy some S&P 500 puts, you know, you're kind of nuts uh, because there's a tremendous downside trading opportunity here. On the upside, you know we like uh, Transmontane, uh, we like Calumet, we like Total particularly, and we also like Chevron. <clears throat> the dividends are going to urge all those things to at least remain solid. <clears throat> and we believe those stocks will be the few that prosper in the next 30 or 60 days. So we're aiming for the ice flows, and that's producing the desired uh, enhancement in our portfolios. Uh, those who look for the open water, the solution to the European problem, are going to have a very, very hard period of time. I personally am doubtful that this situation is ever going to get fixed. I think the Greeks are going to have a regular old default, and that's going to trigger credit default swap insurance, and all son of a gun is going to break loose. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.